Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Windham and I am here to do a little prenatal lower body workout. I need you to get a few things ready before you get started. If you are um, not pregnant and want to do this workout and you want to add in a little more resistance, grab you some dumbbells, you can add in some ankle weights. Also, if you have a resistance band, but of course, always you can use pretty much your body weight for any of the workouts. Um, consult with your doctor if you're pregnant. Make sure you get your limitations at any point in the pregnancy. Um, and basically, that's about it. I'm going to be monitoring my heart rate. I have my limitations from my doctor. So if you see me watching my little monitor, I will be keeping an eye on that, letting my heart, heart rate stay within my limits. So less than two weeks out unless he comes early so um here we go i am going to first of all i forgot to mention get in some kind of warm-up i did mine on the elliptical get everything moving get your blood flowing loosen up your muscles maybe do some stretches for a few minutes but i'm gonna jump right into it because i've already done that first so if you need to just pause and get that done and then start back on um on our legs so the first one we're going to do today, we're going to do a little lunge combo. So what it's what we're going to do is I want you to drop down into your lunge, then we're going to slide forward, back over your heel, and then up. Let's continue. Two, three, four, pressure in your heel, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. When you're sliding forward, do not let your knee pass your toe. Pressure right down into your heel. Now we're going to switch and do the other one. Just do a forward um, position this time. So we're going to drop, shift back over your heel and up. Whoa, this belly's throwing me off balance. Don't forget to breathe. Good, excellent. So you should get a little bit of everything in that lower body. On those, again, if you're more advanced, your bump's not as big as mine because you're at the beginning and you want to still add in some weights, just put them at your sides or place them on your shoulders. The next one we're going to do, I'm going to use a resistance band. If you don't have a resistance band, you can just use your body weight. You could use ankle weights. But I'm going to go with the um, resistance band version. So find something, kind of wrap it around. You can also just put it in, the other, in your other hand if you want. You're going to put the band firmly. Get it on that ankle, I mean on, over that foot or your shoe. Make sure it's on there good. Again, ankle weights work fine. Just your leg works fine. Just put your mind in the muscle that we're working. And you're going to keep a stiff leg as you raise. And we're gonna just do circles. Let's go 15. Circular motion, keeping that leg straight. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. Now let's switch. That is going to work your glutes. Alright, 
stiff, pointed or flexed up and around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good release. Alright, now we're going to do um, a little wall sit. So find a spot on the wall, the door, and I want you to just put your feet out forward so that when we sink down, our knees are right above your heels, okay? So you want a 90 degrees, you want your quads parallel to the ground if you can get that low. Sometimes people have limitations. For that as well from their doctors for different knee issues so just make sure you find out and I want you to just pressure in your heels chest up shoulders back and we'll go timed we'll do a 20 second one today breathe through it inhale through your nose exhale through your mouth Few more seconds. All right, excellent. Let's take a little breather. Now this next one, we're just gonna do some squats. I'm gonna use the band. You can, again, you can use dumbbells or just your body weight, okay? I'm just gonna add a little something into it. So I'm gonna place my feet firmly over my band. Try to spread your band out about a little wider than shoulder width apart. You're going to bring your handles right up to your shoulders. And we're just going to sink down into your heel. Exhale and come up. I'm going to go to 10. 3. Exhale up. 4. 10. Good. All right. Excellent. D-band. Put it to the side if you chose the band option. So just place your mat on the ground if you're working on an area in your house that's carpeted or you have a towel if you want to put it down. I'm going to get this outer hip so what I want you to do is just place one leg in front of you, the other leg behind. You're going to kind of lean forward. You're going to lift that knee towards the ceiling. It's going to work that hip abductor, okay? It's a little awkward, but then it's a very small range of motion, but it's just a lift. And let's go to 15. Feel it like right in here. Now let's switch spots. And continue on this side. 15. Now I want you to go back to your wall sit, do 20 seconds, and begin. Pressure in your heels, that's the key to this, you don't want it to roll to the toes. We're going to do one more thing. 
and that's going to be for your inner thighs. I want you to do a plie squat. We're just going to pulse at the bottom. So I want you to spread your feet out, toes outward. Do a little practice one. Make sure that your knees go right above your heels. And again, if you're in too close, they're going to collapse over. We're always trying to protect those knee joints. And we'll go, let's go 12. So pulse, pulse, up. Again, if you have dumbbells, add them into the front, to your shoulders. This one, you don't want to collapse your chest down. So I like to have people put it on their shoulders to keep upright. Kind of forces them in the right position. Good, all right. We're gonna do one more thing. I feel like I have it in me, so we're gonna go on with this last thing. It's like a little cardio part in involving those lower body muscles that we just worked. And I'm just gonna go for 15 seconds. So I want you to put your feet together and we're just gonna kind of bounce up and down, okay? Let's start in three, two and one so you're just coming off the ground a little bit keeping your butt down staying as low as you can getting that burn on the lower body that we just worked in all those previous exercises all right excellent let's take and just stretch for a couple minutes grab and bring your heel up to your glutes if you need to Grab a piece of equipment if you're feeling like you're not balanced. Pregnant or not, people have issues with balance. Depends on the day. Switch. Some people, if they're really, really tight, they can't reach their foot. Grab a towel, put it on your ankle, and then pull your towel up. And let's stretch to the side, stretch your inner thighs. We got some inner thighs in that plie squat. So pressure in your heel, slide over to the other side. And let's reach down to the center. today I want you to go back through if you're feeling good to that second round and do all those exercises one more time you can add in higher set of dumbbells again if you're not fatigued from round one if you're pregnant and just wiped out stop right there as always if you have any questions email me at campsweat at gmail.com and if you would please Subscribe if you have not already to my YouTube channel. I will be posting for the next couple weeks till I have the baby. Then I'll be out for medical um, leave until I get permission to get back to my workouts after the baby comes. And then I'll get back to some more workouts. I look forward to seeing you on my next one.